All right, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And uh, peace, love, and salutation to all you brothers out there that's pushing this truth. And truth and sincerity, I'm the brother I now from the GMS Atlanta Church. And our uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Now, um, this is a recent um, activity going on. A 7.4 magnitude earthquake hits southern Mexico. And this is from uh, yesterday, Tuesday, June 23rd, 2020, Year of Prophecy. Man, a lot of stuff happening, man. So it says a 7.4 magnitude earthquake that hit Mexico's southern coastline on Tuesday, collapsing buildings and prompting evacuations, has left at least five dead, five people dead, officials say. And watch that death toll go up. <clears throat> the earthquake appeared at 10.29 a.m. local time, 11.29 uh, was it eastern time, with an epicenter of 6.8 miles southwest of Santa Maria, Zapo, uh, Titlan and Oaxaca State near El Coyul. At least five people were killed according to the coordinator for Mexico's National Civil Protection Services. Alright? So, hey, another earthquake in Mexico, man. You know? And, and the Lord is showing you so-called Mexicans he's not to be played with. Alright? The Lord sent a, 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 a deadly earthquake uh, among this magnitude. I think it was a, a, a around an 8.0 earthquake in 2017 all right and that 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 recalls memories in my head because I, I watch videos like this if you watch a lot of my videos you know time and time again I do videos about earthquakes you know what I'm saying so what, what, what sticks out in my mind with that 2017 was that building that was shaking back and forth and then in a matter of seconds it just crumbled to the ground everybody that was in there just died because they were just falling on top of each other and the foundation was just falling, people were just falling on top of each other, man. The foundation was crushing in that building, all right? But this is biblical prophecy, all right? Because Yahweh Shai, the world, who the world enemy calls Jesus Christ, is coming back, man. And he's sending signs, i.e. earthquakes, you know, uh, solar eclipses, blood moons, wolf moons. He's letting you know that he's coming back, all right? And this message is for the uh, so-called... Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and even you so-called Mexicans from the tribe of Issachar. All right. So this is Second Ezra chapter nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself. You measure what's going on these last days according to the scriptures. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made." And the Lord is visiting the world with these earthquakes, tsunamis, civil unrest, sedition. All right. It says, Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, a 7.4 earthquake that hit Mexico yesterday, and uproars of the people, people are marching in for so called justice. All right. People are hired up to hear of the local governments. It says, therefore, when thou shalt be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, there's uproars going across the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High, the God of the Bible, Yahweh, spoke of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So everything that was uh, written about in these scriptures, man, go, it goes way back, man. All right? <clears throat> so, uh, the Lord is visiting you so-called Mexicans, man. All right? From the tribe of Issachar, all right. When you go to that word Issachar, in the Hebrew, it's Yesha Shakar, which means he is hired. All right. Who else is out here working the jobs that most Americans do not want to do? The so-called Mexican. All right. Once upon a time here in, in, in America, all right, because you know, it's this black narrative, okay? This this whole black narrative with these Jays getting shot down. A lot of of our so-called Latino brothers get down shot down as well. All right, but once upon a time in America, before the white man put his dirty foot on the steps of America, all right, the so-called Mexican had land here in the, in the state of Georgia. Okay, where do you think they? Uh, where do you think that um, they get the designs for the pyramids, man? It goes back to ancient Egypt because the so-called Mexican from the tribe of Issachar was there along with his brothers, the so-called blacks, 
uh, other Hispanics and so-called other uh, Native Americans and Seminole Indians in ancient Egypt. Okay, so we just I'm, I'm just get to the scripture right quick. But the Lord has been visiting Mexico, man, and there's been brothers uh, in Great Millstone who's been preaching His Word for a number of years. You got a brother in Mexico City who's been putting in the work for quite a long time, quite some time, but our people are not hearkening to the words, man. All right. Our, uh, our, our so-called Mexican brothers are into uh, Day of the Dead worship. They worship uh, Mary. Uh, they worship uh, the so-called Virgin Mary. They are into uh, witchcraft as well. All right. So our people need to wake up. The so-called Mexican needs to wake up, man. All right. So this is Jer uh, this is Genesis 49 and uh, I think it's like 14. Genesis 49 and 14, Issachar, and when you go to that Hebrew word, all right, it's Yeshashakar, which means which means he is hired. Issachar is a strong ass, all right. What what is mostly the symbol uh, when you when you when you look at uh, uh, Mexico, you you see a a, a, a a burro, a donkey, okay. They're they're strong people, all right. Look at look at some of these Mexican bakers, bak, excuse me. I'm a little bit excited, but look at these uh, so-called Mexican bo boxers. Like, uh, what's that boy name? Uh, uh, Alvarez, whatever his name. Uh, they they can take a hit, man. All right, they can take a hit in that boxing ring, man. All right, it says, "It's the car is a strong ass, couching down between two burdens. There between the two burdens is North America and South America, and smack dab in the middle is Mexico, man. And Mexico is a a very large land, all right. Like I said, before the white man came here, that empire was all the way up in, into uh, you know the Pacific Northwest, man. All right. For the white man brought his funky ass here. So uh, continuing on, it says, verse fifteen, and he saw that rest was good, you know, siestas, and that and the land that it was pleasant. And bowed his shoulder to bear and became a servant unto tribute. And when you go into that, became a servant unto tribute, they were um, uh, basically the white man under the, the Spanish conquistadors, Hernando Cortez, I believe it was 1532, that uh, the so called Spanish came in there and, uh, you know, took over Mexico. All right, that's why a lot of you so called Mexicans have names like Cortez, all right, Fernandez, Lopez. You have your oppressor's last name, okay? And matter of fact, they make a Nike shoe called Cortez, all right? Just to add to the top of that. So, you so-called Mexicans are uh, Hebrew Israelites, man, all right? So, I got a book right here, real quick, called the Aztecs, all right? As you can see right here, called the Aztecs by Eduardo Matos Moctezuma. Now, I'm just read, read a little excerpt right quick. <clears throat> so, this is on um, page 10 of the introduction of this book, all right? It says, The Spanish chroniclers testified to how they went about solving the riddle of who the natives were. Because you got a lot of Israelites that say that so-called Mexicans are not Hebrew Israelites. And where they came from. At the beginning of his work, his, Historia de las Indias de Nueva España, Friar, Friar Diego Duran, 1588, argues that the natives were an inferior race, which actually that's 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 a damn lie. All right, we're above these other nations, and therefore, obviously, Jews and Jewish people, and as that their ways of living, rights, and beliefs were the same of those of the Jews. Now we know the so-called black man from the tribe of Judah is the real Jew. All right, the Jewish people, they're not the real Jews. All right, the word Jew stems from Judah, which was one, the head tribe of the nation of Israel. All right, so these Aztecs got their ways from their brothers and sisters. All right, other Hebrew Israelites. All right, they first and foremost they got it from the Most High. So um, it says, <clears throat> for the friar, the Aztecs and other peoples' explanation of their origins and of how they how they wandered for many years through various lands before finally, settling finally on Lake Texcoco were expressed proof of his belief that they were descendants of the ten tribes of Israel. 
Okay, let's let's read that once one more time. It says, <clears throat> for the friar, the Aztecs and the other people's explanation of their origins and of how they wandered for many years through various lands before setting settling finally on Lake Texcoco were expressed proof of his belief that they were descendants of the ten tribes of Israel as indicated in the Bible. Okay, ding, 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 ding. Another important point on which he based his assertions was the promise the natives Lord made to the tribe thanks to which they were supposed to Supposed to multiply like the sand in the desert, all right? Be fruitful and multiply. And hey, the so called Mexican is everywhere, man. The so called Mexican is Chicago, New York, LA, Atlanta. The so called Mexican is even in Japan, bro. What do you think um, <clears throat> these so called people with um, these car custom shows over in Japan? Because Issachar went over there, he, he, he lay with the uh, Ammonite woman. And then his seed end up uh, looking like the Ammonite woman. You got a lot of Iskarites over there in Japan, man. All right? Iskar is everywhere just like Ephraim. <clears throat> the so-called Puerto Rican. So it says, uh, What was so shocking and admirable in these lands as the fire was the sheer multitude of people we encountered. As further proof, he includes the natives' own account of creation and of the giants who inhabited the, pl inhabited the place first and of the immense tower they wanted to build which God destroyed a fire a detail of the fire immediately equated with the Tower of Babel so how do these people know about the Tower of Babel, Babel man alright given his sources and information Duran had no reason to doubt that the Aztecs so called Mexicans were, di were direct descendants of the tribes of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So this, this is a cut to you pro-black Israelites who like to say the so-called Latinos and Native Americans, the Seminole Indians, are not Hebrew Israelites. Okay, so this is what this book from excerpt, and this book just basically goes into, you know, the customs of uh, the so-called Aztecs, Issachar, the so-called Mexican. All right, so just got one more scripture on how the so-called Mex Mexicans got over here and it's prophesied in the Bible, man, the Apocrypha, which, you know, vocab alone likes to dismiss and other Edomites like James White, all right? This is this is his history right here, man, all right? This is our heritage. The so-called Mexicans are our brothers, all right? <clears throat> They're our people. They're the Hebrew Israelites, man, all right? When you look at those, man, when you look at those uh, tortillas, man, all right, corn tortillas, that's unleavened bread, man. Where did they get that from? All right, they're Hebrew Israelites, man. Point blank, period, period. All right, the truth is finally coming out. And it's time for you so-called Mexicans to wake up, man. All right, the Lord is sending all these earthquakes and all this chaos to, to wake you up, man. All right, even you so-called Mexicans here in, uh, in the United States, man, it's time for you to stop being simple and wake up. All right, man, the so-called black man, the so-called Haitian man, the so-called... Jamaican, the so-called Dominican, the so-called Puerto Rican are your brothers, the Hebrew Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So this is 2nd Ezra 13 and uh, verse 40. Those are the 10 tribes, and this, this friar said that the so-called Aztecs were part of the 10 tribes of Israel, which is actually 12, but you know, the northern kingdom, all right, <clears throat> after the Assyrian captivity, actually came over here let's 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 go further into detail these are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their out of their own land in the time of uh Hosea, the king whom salomonazar the king of assyria led away captive and he carried them over the waters and so came they into another land but they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt that they might there keep their statutes which they never kept in their own land and they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow, narrow passages of the river for the most high God then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over verse 45 
for through that country there was a great way to go namely of a year and a half and the same region is called Arsaref basically they came here to America man all right they came through the Middle East they sailed around the Horn of Africa and they came over here in a year and a half time the so-called Mexicans along with the so-called Puerto Ricans the so-called Dominicans the so-called Brazilians so-called uh, Seminole Indians so-called Native American Indians man the northern tribe they came over here all right so, hey, Lord willing, that lesson was edifying, man. It's time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you so-called Mexicans to wake up to this truth, man. All right? Wake up to the truth that the God of the Bible is a so-called black man. I know that's a hard pill to swallow for a lot of you so-called Mexicans, man, but the, the Lord is looking for 12,000 men out of the tribe of Issachar to wake up. Those prophets of, of, of uh, Yahweh Bashim al man. So with that, hey, man, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all the way down to you uh, so-called Mexicans, to repent, all right? And to uh, next time, Lord willing, Shalom.